Hi, I'm Simon Townsend, and you're watching Raw Sound TV. Hi, this is Raw Sound TV. Coming up on this week's show, we have Watermark. And I'm surprised at your surprise. I'll be doing it again. Because I thought that you were bright. I'll be doing it again. And there's just one. Thing. We have Young Garbo. This rain made it feels like fate Cause she looks like she's been drawn by Quentin Blake To my eyes So scribble me a picture A pretty little picture of my life yeah! Tall stories Last year transition The Arosa. Wanna say I'm fine, but I'm not, and it's alright. Wanna keep in mind that he's gone and it's over. Wanna say I'm fine, but I'm not, and it's alright. Methods. I'm a novice. Welcome to Raw Sound TV, the best music show on the internet. We're here at the Novus Headline Gig, ready to kick off Series 5. Yeah, we're here at Mother's Studio in the heart of Birmingham, and we've got a fantastic show lined up for you tonight. We've got four bands performing here for us tonight, when we'll be seeing two from a previous show. Yep, so to kick us off this evening, here's Watermark. What did you expect? When you hang about with a group of lads at mystery and knock you about, give you a clout that you're just blind to see, that all of this is just a harsh reality. Your expectations plummeted down the drain, only afterwards that you begin to feel the pain. What a shame! But you just do the same, you've got no one to blame. You're trapped inside You've got nowhere to hide Why are you giving him a second chance? It'll make you spin, it'll make you dance I'm surprised that you're surprised Because I thought that you were bright And there's just one thing that I know You'll just go down the same road What did you expect? The walls over your eyes You're constantly, repeatedly telling yourself lies It's not right But you seem to forget Every time you ever got caught up in his net You're trapped inside You've got nowhere to hide Why are you giving him a second chance? 
He'll make you spin, he'll make you dance And I'm surprised at your surprise Because I thought that you were bright And there's just one thing that I know You'll just go down the same road Give it up for Andrew Bateman! I'm surprised at your surprise I'll be doing it again Because I thought that you were bright I'll be doing it again And there's just one thing that I know You'll just go down the same road You'll just go down the same road You'll just go down the same road Thank you very much everybody! That was brilliant, that was Watermark. Next up we have Tall Stories. Departure Lounge, I think of you And these beats that I found It sinks into the second I watch the fireworks Who close eyes And attempt to forget it gone and the people who can't get you out my mind and I've got to confess I couldn't fall for another even in that dress and so I saunter across the road into town blink through the eyes I'm beginning to frown and then I turn to the girl who's forgotten my name but she's still not you so she's just the same last year tradition Hill there on the base. Last 
It's been a pleasure. That was amazing. That was Tall Stories here live at Mother's. Yep. Now we're going back to the studio. This is from episode eight of the last series. And this is the Arosa. We keep in mind.
Well, that was fantastic. That was the Arosa. Now we're going back to the studio again to see Methods with their song, Future Demons. So back at Mothers, all the way from Wales, we have Young Garbo. Quentin Blake. Life is great, I feel like I've been drawn by Quentin Blake, you know. At this rate, made it feels like fate, cause she looks like she's been drawn by Quentin Blake to my eyes. So scribble me a picture, a pretty little picture of my life. Say 
man, I'm in a state I must look like I've been drawn by Quentin Blake He knows you At this rate, man, it's getting late So I look like you've been drawn by Quentin Blake So fuck off I just scream on me a picture A pretty little picture of my life Boys out. So here I am with the guys from the Nova. How are you doing, lads? Oh, Great. Yeah. That was a fantastic gig you just done. We're going to have a little look at you in a bit. But before we do so, are you going to tell us about what you've been up to at the moment? I hear you've been on tour. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, we've just been on a, well, still on a five day tour, sort of like every weekend for a month, really. Uh, we've been to Coventry with Feet, Liverpool with Rats, Manchester with. Nana White, Nana White Pepper. Uh, obviously, we did our headline tonight in Birmingham, and then next week we're in London at the Camden Assembly, which is pretty cool. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. sounds exciting. So, what's the best place you've been to so far? Obviously, Birmingham. You can't, you can't, <laughs> Good you, answer. You can't beat what just happened, man. Yeah. It, it was unreal. But apart from that, Coventry was a really, yeah, really cool probably. gig. Really cool gig. Fantastic. So, travelling around the country, are you enjoying that? Yeah, it's our first time as a band and each other as well. Like, we've all never been on tour before, so. It's been so. It's been very different. Yeah, it's been very bit, weird. Bit of bonding and stuff with the lads. Yeah, a bit of bondage <laughs> with the lads. Yeah. So I've got to ask, who does the driving? Uh, I do most of the driving because Tom's not allowed to drive on the motorway because his mummy won't let him drive on the motorway. So uh, what a right. Debate that is. That's just pure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who is the best driver, Tom or Connor? Well, okay, there's a story yet, right? It's great, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try and justify before, something. Before, before we knock you, normally, Mr. Connor Hill is a rather, um, you know, that driver yeah, when you're driving. And he just fannies about there, like he keeps moving left, moving right, and he doesn't know what he's doing. But he doesn't crash somehow. That's Connor with me. Smooth, yeah. However, <laughs> <laughs> the other week we was going to Tal Zoe and Fresh like tires. We're going to Birmingham. Fresh, brand new tyres, right? Going right round the island. Went to turn left. Never got left and just kept going. <laughs> and going. Spun but out on a on a Still, on yeah. A got all legs, so I would definitely argue myself. Uh, he, I he am definitely killed, better. Like, so Tom's nearly killed us on a roundabout. He, like, once. Fresh tyres. I'll give him. Like, I'll let him off. Oh, here we go. Connor, sucking, <laughs> Connor sucking has nearly killed us off, multiple yeah. times. Buses, other cars. Hey, the, the bus lot. was the first oh, day I drove ever so, since I passed my test. So allow it. So like, on that, I'm gonna say you've tried to kill, nearly killed us more times. So I'm gonna say Tom. To be fair though, you're talking about the worst driver. I haven't even passed my test. I haven't even got I, I failed it twice. The first one, I did 40 in a 30, which somehow you're not allowed to do. <laughs> and then, That's not allowed. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the second one, I, I was doing like a hill start and I did a wheel spin somehow in a Vauxhall Corsa. And then I stole it like five times. On purpose? Yeah, and I was telling the gear stick to fuck off while the driving exam was just like looking at me like... <laughs> so you're going to do it again? Uh, yeah, when I get the money. When yeah. I can actually be asked. So. so first time or second time for you? Uh, it was second time for me, um, but Tom. let's ask this geezer how many times he failed his theory test. Relevant. Well, I was just about to say the best drivers always pass second and third time, apparently. So, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, Tom. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, yeah. will you do some of the driving for the lads? Uh, well, maybe, if yeah, I ever get a car. <laughs> you owe me petrol money, mate. <laughs> get your own back. I've right. Had a lesson, so I don't have to. You don't even know how to... What's a car? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the best way to be, mate. Exactly. So, tell us about tonight. This was a secret gig, secret venue, all hidden, all under wraps. What was the thought behind that? Um, it's just to get people talking, really. Like, if no one knows where it is, and they can just message us to find out, it's like, they feel more, like, included. And it's just... I don't know, it just builds a bus around it more than like 
a normal gig would. It's yeah, more of a party definitely. than a gig. Well, we noticed that on the social media, so you're getting a lot of interaction on the social media, people wondering where it was. For us, it's more important to create, like, a vibe and, a, um, like, an idea where people can really get involved and, like... Because everyone that comes to these gigs, we, we could go around every single person there and say hi, and we know something about them, we know their names, and we're friends with it. So I think it's to create more of, like, a background rumble community, you know what I mean, to kind of yeah. really create a different like just offer something different to just another roll on roll off gig yeah it was definitely in, that in a little off, bit of mystic behind it as well yeah. which is offer a part to be more than just more than just a band like we don't want to be every band no, ever we, we, so. we're, we're more than just a band it's more like a, it's a kind of an act as well do you know what I mean what we do on stage is different to who we are as people right. and people know us as both and that's why I think people keep coming because they're like okay. what's going on on there and then they're, they're so different off they stage. just want to know more about the characters yeah, on stage I think so like yeah and the secret location thing was really cool and We've kind of never really done a proper headline in Birmingham. Well, we did one really when we first started as a band, and then we haven't done one since. And this kind of showed us that if it's a secret location and we can sell it out, then God knows what we can do next. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's about building things up, yeah. I suppose. So question before we move on then, who's the nice Connor? Stage Connor or off-stage Connor? <laughs> off-stage Connor's a nice guy. <laughs> okay. On-stage Connor's a... Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we caught him on film tonight, so uh, the audience will be able to see that. We're coming up with a name for it. We need a different name. We need so a if different anyone name. Knows, yeah. If anyone knows a stage name for Connor, Comment. it needs yeah. to be called. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a competition idea there. Get yeah, on Twitter, I'll give you a guest list. How's that? <laughs> there you are. Or a t shirt. YouTube. Yeah, you don't get the rights to any songs, though. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately not. So, yeah, check out the lads on uh, Twitter and Facebook, and you'll be able to catch them where they're gigging next. Where are you next? We're in Camden Assembly. Camden Assembly next week. Well, on the 13th of April, and then uh, we're playing for a Magic Garden studio session on the 3rd of May. Then where are we? At? Where are we after that? God knows where we are. After. We're in Paris in June. So oh wow! Fancy oh, that should be Paris. Oh, we do. <laughs> we we certainly do. Yeah. yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll come and film that one for <laughs> yeah, you. That'll be sick. <laughs> so I gather you're all foodies. Oh, Enjoy God, your food, especially you. Can you tell you size? <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so there's just one more question. What are your favourite biscuits? Oh, there you are. Jammy Dodgers are elite. <laughs> Jammy Dodgers? Elite. Chocolate digestive, any day. Don't know, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a sad guy. No, I'm not going to say it. You, you say yours first. I actually have no idea. I never really thought. Hang on. I think I'm just going to go hobnobs to be different. Wait, so, I I think that, right. A bad choice. See, mine, mine, I'm stuck between two. Chocolate, chocolate digestives and rich tea biscuits. I love a rich tea. Rich, rich teas. Yeah, for Dunkin' or on its own? No chocolate. For, for Dunkin' or on its own? Either, either. I what? can get through it. I can oh, get through it. <laughs> <ball. laughs> I can get through it. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good niece biscuit. Niece biscuit. Though. Nice. Niece. Biscuit, niece oh, biscuit. nice. It's spelled nice. nice. There's another question. Is it nice or nice? Nice. Very nice. Actually. Comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comment below. So there you are. Anyway, let's move on. It's about something time you all subscribed as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah it certainly is. But you can, <laughs> we can move on now, and it's something you can subscribe for because we have got something to give away, haven't we, guys? We yeah, we have. A couple of uh, gifts oh. from the lads. Here's one we made earlier. <laughs> yeah, uh, they've been kind enough to give us a T-shirt. Have we got a tote bag, or have we just we got a T-shirt? We've got, got a tote really. bag as well. Wow. So the lads are going to sign that for us, and we're going to give it away. So. In the next week or so, there'll be some more information on social media on how to enter. So yep. keep your eyes peeled. Yep, keep an eye out for that. And you could win a T-shirt and tote bag. So once the guys have signed it... It's going to be worth millions. We hope so, in <laughs> a few years. Put it in yeah. the wash. You'll see it in Poundland in a couple of years. <laughs> Mate, Poundland's a good market. Did you just smiley face that? Smiley face and a kiss, can't go wrong. Brilliant. Is that your signature now? Yeah, that is it. <laughs> the cross. Yeah, I don't want these checks. He writes a smiley face, a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Right, while the guys are signing that, then that's time for us to sign out. So we've come to the end of another brilliant show. Join us for the next show on the 28th of April, where we'll be doing it all over again. So to see us out this evening, we're going to go back and have a look at these guys playing a fantastic set for us. Please enjoy. This is the Novus. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs>
party in this life I've got my rights, you've got your rights Are they respected? They're not respected, they're just inspected In this dystopia, can you be the change? Can you be the change? Can you be the change? Postmodern fairy tale. We live the lie with the ones who need us. Now comes the chain of thought. The labyrinth of doom, what you want. Postmodern fairy tale. Postmodern fairy tale. This is postmodern fairy tale. We can be the chain. That you pray, 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 that you I'm nervous. This is a postmodern fairy tale tour. Get on your fucking feet. Join the fucking noise.
you've ever given, you've been the fucking best.